Hi, I'm Susan Robertson, a student at Appalachian State University, and this Ignite talk will focus on current issues in online course design. Here's what to expect. We'll examine student diversity in online courses, describe user-centered design philosophies, take a look at the emergence of mobile learning, and acknowledge the real challenges facing instructors. In 2016, only 16% 16 of undergrads reported taking an online class. That percentage jumped to 35% in just three short years. Certainly, those numbers rose drastically during the COVID-19 pandemic, and we're not exactly sure where they will settle, but most experts expect that the numbers will continue to rise. And here's why. Students surveyed reported the top three reasons they like to take online classes, and those include flexibility, accessibility, and cost-effectiveness. On the next slide, you can see how diverse the students are that are targeted for online education programs, ranging from adult students who are working, first-generation college students, military, and students with disabilities. Meeting their needs is a challenge, but the first guiding principle for effective online writing instruction is that it should be universally inclusive and accessible. A lot of the discussion about accessibility falls under the user-centered design philosophy, which focuses on how students will want to, will need to, and will likely access content. User-centered design and universal design for learning have a lot in common, but two key differences are that UCD includes students in the design process and stresses testing and evaluation. There are three main steps to effective user-centered design, anticipating student needs, designing accessible content to meet those needs, and seeking continuous student input. Anticipating needs is tough because the needs are so diverse, ranging from technology, physical abilities, language, and culture. One way to meet those varied needs is through multimodal pedagogy. By providing content, allowing students to demonstrate learning, and offering feedback through multimodal means, we can reach more students. And it's particularly important in writing instruction because multimodal literacies are a key part of the discipline. A new issue that has emerged with regard to accessibility is mobile learning. And that's defined as the ability to learn anywhere, anytime through the use of mobile computing devices, primarily cell phones. In 2018, 67% of students surveyed said they conducted some or all of their coursework on mobile devices, even though 91% of them owned laptops, but they valued the convenience and portability of their cell phones. But it's more than a convenience issue. It's also one of equity. Non-white first-generation college students, those with lower incomes, and those with disabilities value mobile learning access. When designing with mobile technology in mind, it's important to keep things simple. Chunk activities into smaller segments, simplify fonts, and always test for device compatibility. The third step in user-centered design is seeking student input, and that can be done formally through surveys or informally through regular class feedback. Online instructors have a lot of challenges, and it's important for institutions to support them, especially by providing training and collaboration with technical experts. For further information on online course design, check out these resources that were helpful for me while preparing this at night talk. Thanks for joining me.